Brabus, the pinnacle of luxury and performance in the automotive industry. Pioneers in the aftermarket field and I've been grateful for the opportunity not only to do a podcast with the CEO of Brabus but also to check out their factory and see how they run their incredible operations here. So join me with Dennis from Brabus to show us around the headquarters in Germany. So we start in the build room where orders get placed and dreams start to become a reality. Really interesting room which doesn't even look that interesting maybe but it's super super interesting because in this room you will find all the cars that we're working on right okay. now okay. in all of our workshops. Yeah. So every car, in the room, I mean, look at the countries and everything. There's everything in here um, where we where we're delivering cars, and this wall isn't enough. So we have another. Where did you deliver the most of your cars to? I I couldn't even say. And this is our digital workspace. There we can see where the people are working and they log digitally, that's new, we, we started that this year, so they log digitally into a car where they're working on, so okay. we see how many hours they're working. So these, are these the registration plates of course or? Yeah, this is the number yeah. of, the, of the car, like every car has a number, so right here under 81 for example, yes. and that is the number, yeah. and that is what they are doing right now. So okay. it's German, like I'm doing this Di diverse part. And every morning there's a meeting in here at I think 7.30 or something for an half an hour where they go through every car. Yeah, they are See building right now. So this is like the new style and the new way we're rebuilding everything. And glass, uh, clean black floors, uh, glass. Yeah, it looks super panel. clean. It looks super clean. Yeah. And now, I mean, look at, the, look at the workshop. I mean, the guys have a lot to do right now. They're in lunch break and so on. So not everything is perfectly, yeah. but when we walk down, you're going to see it. Like it's very, very tidy. Cars are getting cleaned before they come in here yeah. and uh, being worked on. So that's something that's really special. We're actually launching today, we're launching the first 930. 930, okay. Yeah. The extra 30 Yeah, I think we're going to see it on the parking lot because I saw the guys shooting it for the social media team was shooting it. Yeah. Because we're launching it today, it just came out. And um, yeah, it's a GT 930. And over there, I mean, you, you see the four spots, and I told you we have like a workshop for regular Mercedes-Benz cars. Yeah, yeah. So you could drive an A-Class and uh, tell your buddies, hey, I'm going to browse. Right. And you're just getting like, uh, I don't know, your wheels <laughs> set, set up you, or yeah. whatever. Get wheels refurbed. Uh, gives us the advantage of being in um, a workshop of Mercedes-Benz. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, or to get parts and stuff like that, it's really, really good. Uh, we can go downstairs, we can have a little walk around and look at some. Now we head downstairs to workshop number one, where engines are removed and worked on to add more power according to the customer's demand. And believe me when I tell you, Brabus are not shy of power. People want individuality. People just want individuality. You know, yeah. like like it doesn't matter on the on the vehicle. I mean, we, we bought out our second motorcycle now. Uh, with KTM together, um, it sold very, very well again because it's a very individual piece limited to 144 with each color. Before it was 77 with each color, and it worked out. You know, like, but we have a lot of customers that come in and that have already a lot of cars and that are set up to come in and say, Well, I want something for myself, I want to build a car that is mine that mm -hmm. has. I don't know, the, the black and white of a t-shirt, whatever, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like whatever drives you to put into a vehicle and right there you can see that that's his, yeah. his uh, upgrade on individuality, you I know, like that. it's, it's that special kind of blue, it's that, um, is that matte white color, you know, like, like that, blue carbon fiber. like we select cars that we see as an opportunity to make them cooler, better, more individual, whatever, you know, like, and it's a choice of the car, it's not a choice of the brand. And it's always about what does our customer also have in his garage, you know, like most people that, there are a lot of people that have a G-Class might have a Porsche. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they buy the G-Class here and then they say, well, I have a Porsche or my wife has a Porsche. Yeah. Can what you can do? I do with that? And we were like, well, it's cool, but we can't do anything. Yeah. You know, like, like a regular tuner, a car tuner, would probably do something to the car. But we're always talking about performance. This, I mean, that vehicle, we bring this vehicle up to 820 horsepower, you know, like, and that in, in a very, very minimal, <laughs> in a very minimal space. What's your favorite car to drive here at Brabus? Well, 
I, my, my first car that I drove I brought was, was, a, was a G Class Rocket. Yeah. And I, 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 there is a video where I'm laughing and I'm smiling, and I, I thought, like, okay, we met each other, we love each other every year. <laughs> and then there was this afternoon where I took the Porsche out, mm -hmm. and I must say, I never rolled a car before that laughs at you. Because I was really like I went on the autobahn, I went fast, I was cruising around. And the car saying this is nothing. And, and it was like like cool. And then I went to the autobahn because it was warm, and then the Sport Plus and everything, you know. And then he sent it basically. And, and then I drove it, and then and then I got off, and I was like, whew. And the car was like, you know, like the car was like, okay, we did, we guys didn't reach the limit, like we have to meet again. It's funny because it has so much power. That, uh, that you would regularly think you cannot cruise with a car like that. Yes. But it's the same amount of fun cruising around an area like here or going, going fast. You have that, that high amount of horsepower and you always think, oh, it's all about going fast. But it's not, you know, it's about that you always, you're never at the limit of, of well, where you want to go. Yeah. Like, like a, there's always something in the back end which you can work with just that you understand like this is the new area we're rebuilding everything yep. and before we had we had the interior and everything next door mm -hmm. now we moved with the interior to a much bigger area which i will show you mm -hmm. a much much bigger area and now you're going to see in the next areas that you're going to see that we're moving around everything like there's everything on the move and so on because we're, we're not stopping the factory to do all the move and everything we're still working while we're moving and our storage is now four soccer fields four from, soccer fields okay from the from that's the just area. storage yeah and yeah. that's just because we're doing i mean that we're partly shipping parts in the into the world yeah into the know? world into all and places. that's that, that's a big part of yeah. our business yeah so like shipping the shipping whole kits things. and stuff yeah and um so we need big storage of wheels and carbon kits fiber and parts kits yeah. and so on and so we had to but now the people working here, for example, they in the morning have to go over there, yeah. get the stuff or order the stuff, yeah. get it delivered here, yeah. and then work and with work it. it. Before yeah. they were like, oh, I forgot a part, I just walk, walk over, over there, the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So everything's getting bigger and work is changing for them. It's all getting digital. And yeah, so as the company's getting bigger, you've got to find ways to grow yeah. into it. And, you know, grow so as Dennis said, everything at Brabus is shifting at such a fast pace and they're already outgrowing their current workshop. So the next stop is their small storage area for current builds and projects. And then onto some really exciting toys in the second workshop. Little storage where, where we deliver the parts from the big storage yeah to come here come here to be built into the parts yeah. where the interior department delivers their stuff and so on but it's all going to be very very tidy again it's all going to be set up and everything so there's a lot of thought with the people working here to keep everything very tidy have very good workflows and so on now it's like in the move and so you've got gearboxes and tires and the engines just sitting on the shelf right yeah <laughs> <laughs> and now we're becoming That's what I'm in a newer but older part. You know, like we have the showroom, and now we're here. We need to talk about that. Yeah, oh. exactly. <laughs> and, uh, oh, shit, oh, man. So here we work on the engines. Yep. Um, here is where we bring the engines and build them out of the vehicle. Yep. Or take them out of the vehicle and bring them back to the vehicle. So you see right here. That there, this is the Brabus rocket, yep. but it still has the old engine in it. Okay, so the, the engine and it will come out, get it tweaks, okay. and then go back in. The person then builds it out, brings it over, does all the work on it, and then brings it back in. Um, they become friends for like four to six weeks. Yeah. And they, um, <laughs> it's just like how they do an AMG, because it's one man, one engine, isn't it? Yeah. Same thing with Brabus. Right. That one is something that we didn't launch yet, but so you can't eyes. Talk. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Yeah. Can, we, can we speak about it without see, like showing it? Well, depending on what you speak about. Yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, qu question that has what? What's so special about it? Well, I, I would I would say probably the height of the car is something special. Yep. Um, see that one, yeah. And the the build on the roof should be yeah, it's very special. It's probably brings a lot of light into uh, the day into or, people's lives, or yeah. the night. Yep. <laughs> Um, yeah, bring some adventure to life, yeah. I would say. And this is the color on my GT3. Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, this one is sold already, but I'm sure we can, <laughs> <laughs> we can do it to work something. We, we, we can work something. <laughs> what you're about to see now just shows you how far this family-run business can really take things. And something that's definitely made it onto my bucket. So what are we walking towards now, Dennis? Well, we're walking now to the famous Brabus Crawler. Okay, that is actually made for <laughs> desert only. Yeah, I can see that. Because it has no license for the streets. <laughs> um, but it's full, full, full carbon fiber. The whole uh, thing, the whole body carbon the fiber. The whole body is carbon fiber. Everything you see is carbon fiber. And it's, yeah, it's, it's lucky you see this version because we're bringing out a new version where we lacquer the carbon fiber. Okay. And it's going to be a, like a gray Lost, version yeah. with the same frame. But here you can really see that literally everything on this car on this build is carbon fiber. In the inside, in the exterior, everything. Everything. So, is this like a customer demand, or just something? This is actually. This is. This is actually one of the first customer builds. Like the mo marketing car is the same same object, yeah. but this one is the first. Uh, one of the first customer cars. I don't know if it's the first, but it's one of the first. And ones. what's the power in the car? Uh, 900 horsepower. 900 horsepower. Nine, and, a, nine, and, nine. A, and essentially, a, a car that weighs nothing. That weighs There's nothing. That is a mean beast. Um, has special seating. Um, right here, you can see the cabling for the headphones. So you have an intercom system inside of the so car because it's so loud. Just like helicopters, essentially. Like, like helicopters, yeah. uh, essentially. You have that and you have um, a GPS, a satellite GPS inside Is to it? really go yeah. inside of the desert and everything. We limit it to 10 yes. because the build takes quite long yeah. because we do literally everything. I mean, look, look the underneath body kit, look at the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it is... Um, What's the word? Fabricated aftermarket, yeah. market, isn't it? Yeah, everything is done. How do you wash the car though? Car wash. I <laughs> would say the person that buys this, yeah. his problem is not washing. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> That's actually mad. Let me know if you lot would get this. You've got all the money in the world, and now you just want a car from the desert to play about in. And you think, you know what? Get one of these for a million. Abid, let me ask you a question on camera, yeah? Yeah, go on. Being here yeah. and seeing the specs of these barbaries and what yeah. people order, yeah. does it make you think there's so much money in the world? Bro, you know what it is, yeah? You realise that when you get to that level of wealth, yeah. it's basically money is not an object. No. It's basically what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they were, like, the guy was saying that like, you could bring your can of Pepsi yeah. as it can match, match it the colour of yeah. the wheels. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. it's basically bespoke to a next Everything, level. Everything, yeah. Man. Like, it's, it's, Mental. This is why Brabus has been the king's. But you know what? I gotta game. say that yeah. all the tuning companies, like all, uh, I've seen, my favorite man. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. It looks the neatest and yeah. still the craziest. That's why man was gas to do this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone the cars, the, the building that we're actually in is quite beautiful as well. I love how you got the Take walkways above us. Proper clean, good environment to work in. Employees must love it. Love it here. Should. Yeah, they should. <laughs> and in this area right here, you see on the left and on the right side, now you see a car also in the middle. Yep. But on the left and the right side, these are two guys working in this area. And they are um, the final check for each car that leaves the factory. Okay. If you have a full build masterpiece, it yeah. takes them two days to do the full check. Is it two days? Yeah. And they, they check every part, they check, uh, they check it driving, they see if there's something, a noise in the car, whatever. So they, they check on everything before it goes out. Just think about it. like you order the car in Hong Kong, then we send it out from here, and then you receive the car and you hear a noise. Yeah. Like wh what do we do, bring it back yeah. and, and think about it. So you need the perfect vehicle delivered to your you house. You need to make sure everything's perfect. Yeah. Everything before. is perfect. Yeah. So we have really literally only two people working in this department because it's like, the proof that the product is really really mm. good and how, how many cars do you guys like produce every year well it's hard to say because we use we, you know you can bring in a car and only have the wheels done you can bring in a car have a full build yeah, so yeah. it's always a mixture of things you know and if we have more people just doing a little bit of exterior or a little bit of interior yeah. we can build more cars than having full builds and so on so it's hard but to it's say good. dennis i'm not gonna lie to you after coming here it's made me want one more. <laughs> so I bring it to the sales guy. <laughs> <laughs> Which one would you get though? Probably either a G wagon, as in the one we saw outside, mm. or something like that. Or that, that if, I, if I was living in the Middle East and I had a desert yeah. somewhere next yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, 
you if you drive through London? I live in East London, unfortunately. That'll pass through your speed bumps in my lane, though. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Bro, I might start driving over cars. <laughs> <laughs> we had a we had a, a, a race driver with us when we when we did the videos that you did and yeah. everything. We had a race driver with us, and he went the first round, so there, and then somehow on the on the BTS material, we could see like he came back and he was like, <laughs> 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 and then he, he got used to the vehicle, so then then it was fun. But at the beginning, he was also. He also said 900 horsepower and the vehicle like that, very light, you know, it's, yeah. it's quite challenging. Yeah, to, yeah. And he's a race driver, you know? yeah, yeah. He, he did the 24 hour race that you have here, like yeah. a months. After this, we had a stroll in the car park outside to see future and completed builds, including the all new Brabus GT930. And this is the GT930. In this case, we were a little crazy, yeah. and we have a little bit of red. <laughs> but usually super black like the GLS for example or that that one over there the G-Class yeah. or the GLS they're both super black so everything is black in this case it has a little bit of red piping of red piping oh that is nice though I do love that thing wow isn't it wow that shade of red is something else it looks proper glossy you guys want to make cars please. or you want to fly well, we don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what they cost. Maybe, maybe it's not a good feeling to have 930. I don't know. 930 horsepower. Like if you look into the interior, just to see the detail that we put into the car right here. We do all this and you see here it's all made in blue. We put in the carbon fiber. It's all leather interior down here. It's leather interior underneath Everything, here. Yeah. So when we are in the workshop, you're gonna see that we rip it completely apart. Like we take everything out. And that's like crazy for people that don't know that. The first thing we do is we wash it. Then we bring it to the workshop. Then we take it apart. And um, then we build up the motor. Then we build up the interior and everything. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have time to check out the interior department as it was time to do podcasts with Constantine. But just like the rest of the headquarters, you can expect nothing less than perfection. Right, so to round up this video, Dave just giving us the keys to the G900. So we're going to take that around Germany right now and see what's what. But thank you for watching. Make sure you watch the podcast, which is out this Sunday. And I'll catch you lot then. Peace. Bad. Not a bad way to see your cost, isn't it? Yeah. See your cost is gone. Which way is clear? That way. Yeah. End the video like that. <laughs> <laughs>